Hey guys, what's up? I'm with one of my friends, Darshan, right here. You guys seen him a couple of times oh, before. Yeah. And we're on a challenge, on a little mission to find a small sharpener or anything small that we can make like a super t super tiny aquarium out of. We're gonna be catching little minnows at a little pond by his house and putting them in there temporarily though. We're not gonna keep them in there forever. We're at Dollar Store right now and I saw these really, really cool sharpener right here with Darshan. As you can tell, this clear one's perfect and it's like two inches tall. We could take the lid off and then we could put water in there, sand or gravel and put some minnows in there. And then the black one, it's too dark so we can't use that one. So we're gonna go ahead by this. Darshan's right there and I'll see you guys back at home. So we're back at home at Darshan's house and we're gonna be unboxing this little thing right here, taking it out of the package and then going outside, there's a lake right there. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. We have a little net in my car. We're gonna get minnows out of there and then put them in here. And only again for a temporary short of time, we're not gonna keep them in here because obviously that's like fish abuse. But it's gonna be really cool to see little minnows swimming in here. We have this pretty, pretty cool gravel right here. We're not sure which one to use because we have this sand looking one right here and actual white gravel. So we might use one of these or we might use substrate from the actual pond outside. All right guys, so we have both of our stuff right here. We have gravel and this cool little brown black sand and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be using this because if we did decide to use this, it would take up like half of the aquarium, which is not what we want because not enough space. So we're just gonna pop the lid off this just like this, grab some of this reptile sand and sprinkle some of that in there just like that. Very, very little because we wanted to not take up that much space as you can tell. Now we're gonna go ahead, add water from the pond back there and scoop up some minnows. Hopefully they are there. It's really, really windy, so maybe the minnows are all hiding. Who knows? Right now, what we're doing is we're going through all this, I'm barefoot, I'm gonna die, but we're gonna grab a small little like shell, like this, a cool little rock right here to put it in the aquarium, and maybe some little like twigs or little pieces of grass to put it in, just as a temporary little cool habitat for the little minnows that are gonna be in there. All right, so here's the rock we're gonna use, a cool little white rock that's gonna go in there perfectly just like that. And this tiny little piece of grass that we're just gonna put on the side of it. And we're gonna fill it up with water and catch a little minnow. Here's the final product of how this looks. As you can tell, we have that tiny little pebble in there and that cool small little plant right there and the substrate. We're gonna go ahead, fill this bad boy up, but we're not gonna just dump it in the water because everything's gonna go anywhere, everywhere. So we're just gonna get a little cup of water and spill it in there slowly. And then hopefully we do catch a minnow. Here's the tank, as you can tell, we fill it up with water and it literally looks amazing. It looks perfectly clear. We got some tank water and it just looks amazing. The only bad thing is that now it is pouring rain so we're gonna have to wait for this rain to pass a little because we definitely cannot catch a minnow in this type of weather. All right guys, the rain has gone. He knows Florida, it'll rain super hard for five minutes and then it'll be not raining at all. So we have our cool little minnow net right here and we're gonna go ahead and open this gate. We're gonna go ahead and find little areas that might have little pockets just like that right there and just scoop the net through the bottom. Hopefully catch a minnow, run to the little um, patio over there where the tank is and go ahead and put it in the tank. All right, look at that. Just like I said, photo's crazy. Now it's raining super hard. We couldn't catch a single minnow. We didn't even have enough time. So we're just gonna wait for this rain to pass again. And then we'll go back out there and then hopefully we catch a minnow. I don't know guys, Florida's crazy. Like absolutely crazy. Once again, the rain finish. I got my own net. Dorson has his own net right there, so we're gonna try to catch him right now. This is freaking disgusting. All right, guys. We got our beautiful, beautiful, tiny little minnow right there. All right, we got our little minnow right here in my hand. This guy's really, really cool. He has like little stripes. He's like a little tiger minnow, I have no idea. Here's a little minnow, he's gonna go ahead and go in just like that. And there he is guys. There is a little minnow right there. As you can tell, he looks really, really cool. But obviously this is really, really small for an aquarium. We're gonna go ahead and release him right now. But it's cool, you could just make 
little crumbs out of anything. This minnow is sick. Last and final look of our little minnow. He's right there. We're gonna go ahead, come over here, and release this little guy. Now, he go back. Only took maybe like two minutes. He's perfectly safe and back home. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Me and Darshan had a lot of fun making this tiny, super tiny little sharpener aquarium. We definitely gonna be making a lot of more small, like little DIY aquariums out of regular home furniture or school stuff. So if you guys have anything in mind, just drop it down below, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what, but I hope you guys enjoy. Me and Darshan will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.